Okay, this is going to be a very short episode, crazy couple of months. I'm back flying Alaska, two weeks on, two weeks off. Red Eye flight just got back this morning at 7 o'clock. I'm beat. Tomorrow morning I go to Mexico for a week, a uh, much deserved break. Did hit a milestone on this airplane, that's one of the reasons I wanted to publish an episode. I will be editing and publishing this poolside in Mexico. And I do not know how the lighting is going to work out for this, but this is the powder-coated final version of my instrument panel. Both the powder coating and laser engraving were done by two different shops in uh, Tacoma here. Anyway, super happy with the way this came out. The slightly relocated displays, USB ports, and all the text came out good. I used nut plates on the backside here, trying to be fancy. Makes life easier. Did make a mistake on this bracket for the throttle and mixture. I could probably make it work right now, but there's a little bit of interference between the barrel, the thread portion of the mixture control, and that cross tube in the fuselage. So this, again, I'm not sure the lighting's going to come out right. I'll throw some static pictures over the top of this. This is a part of what my arm waving and CAD models has come up with. These little ears right here are where these uh, supports are going to mount to. Uh, these are too long currently, so I'm going to have to shorten them up, flatten them, drill a hole. That's actually, even though I thought it was a big deal the first time I did it, pretty quick job. This is literally my only black box behind the panel. Super simple. Anyway, I just mounted it to the back of this uh, fuse plate, and I'll show you that in a minute. So through the gimmicky trick of editing this panel right here, two different fuse blocks. This one right here is dedicated to the fuel pumps and coil packs, and this one is gonna be everything else. And even though that doesn't look like very many, I actually have one extra, because remember I still have this one back here that is for the comm transponder, all that stuff. And because I know I'm gonna play around with this in the future, I had three of these made and powder coated so they'll all match. In some of my pictures they look a little bit different, but they are, it's just the lighting. Anyway, with the three different ones, I can decide to mount my iPad mini up here. Or a GoPro mount or whatever. I thought it was going to be cool and order titanium screws for these plates and to hold in the PFDs. For just one screw for each of those holes, no extras, it was about $285, so I decided I'm not that cool. So I just ordered the black oxide finish for my faster car. These are Torx head. Oh, came out pretty good. So that's what you do if you only have one day to work on an airplane. I need to go home and pack. Thanks for watching. We'll be seeing you soon.